and welcome to Friendship and Joy with Karen and Suzanne. I'm Karen. And I'm Suzanne. And today we're going on another little road trip. Woo! We love to go and check out yarn stores. And uh, we are driving to Myrtle today to go to a little yarn store called Myrtle, Myrtle, Station. Myrtle Station. See you there. Yep. from and, and there are samples hanging all over the place oh my god look the whole house is full of wool yes isn't it oh and look at the sweater oh <gasps> wow oh my lord this is nice and there's some fairly thick yarn in this little wonder what your godson cardigan. would say if he <laughs> in who yeah, what your godson would say if oh. he saw that <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. But this is what I was um, drawn attention to. Look at this cardigan. Stunning. And I bet you this one is steaked. Let's see. Can I go in and see? Yep. I think it is. This is stunning. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The art. Look at the different colors, the different weights. Here we have drops yarn, Suzanne. Oh, very Charisma. good. Uh, we, we knit, or crochet, I should say, with Drops Delight. So this is another line by Drops. Very we, nice. we, we use the Delight yarn, but uh, Charisma is nice as well. Look at this Soft. beautiful necklace. Oh, it, it's a felted necklace. Yes, isn't it gorgeous? Very interesting. Nice thing. You see? Oh, I'm not supposed to be buying more yarn, but I can't help myself. I you, might have to pick something up. You have to. You I can't. I might have to pick up something. You no. can't go to a wool, a brand new wool store without no. picking up wool. something oh and oh, this is nice oh <gasps> this in okay this may not look like this is a perfect example of the, one of those yarns this is drops it's called sky and when you pick up this yarn it's like okay it's a yarn like it like something else but when you look closely this is almost like braided or something if you zoom in on that I don't even know what you call this type, but this, when you knit this, it has a, such a fluffy, puffy quality to it that it puffs right on up. It is very thin when you stretch it out, like so. Hmm. It's like fingering weight, right? But then it has that puff to it. So to make a scarf or a hat has that sort of fluffy quality to it. Very nice. So, and super, super soft. I am... Oh gosh, here we go again, me and my green. But I mean, look at this color. Stunning, very nice. Same as it's my your eyes. color. Yeah, very <laughs> nice. I need, I think I need this in my life. <laughs> I think I need something. Okay. Oh, 
bara in oh. den här. Det var den här jag tror jag skulle göra egentligen. Den här. Which one? And I didn't know how to crochet. Den här. Åh, oh, vad snyggt. Åh, oh, wow. That's interesting. Ja, det var den här jag skulle göra men jag fattar inte hur fan man skulle göra det. Oh, but it... Jag tror jag tog... I think I brought this years ago. Just Stephanie, look at this. Wow, oh my gosh. I can't even get the whole thing in the picture. Hold on, I let think, me see. Yeah, oh, I think I have to... That's a beautiful this. shawl. Isn't it? How cool. I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, you need to make that, Suzanne. I know. You need to make that. Oh. Do you have the pattern for it? I had it years ago. Uh, hopefully I, it's not the same, but it looks very... What? Stephanie helped me with it, I oh. believe. But is this stunning or what? You have to make that, Suzanne. I'm gonna ask her. Very, very nice. Stunning. Don't uh, forget to put it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow look at that oh wow. wow this suzanne look at the sweater do you recognize it yes i do it's it the looks one, like it's yours. mine yes it looks but like this yours. is with the proper um let's lope yarn i think wow. it is the icelandic yarn yeah. and i did not knit mine in icelandic wow. yarn and now i'm looking at this and i'm thinking i probably should have it's a lot rougher than yeah. my yarn, but oh, it knits up beautifully. But, uh, and it, it um, I have a lot brighter colors in mine. Very similar but, though. But it is, oh, I mean, it is, uh, I picked different colors. Or the same colors, but yes, in different yes, shades, yes. More, more bright. But very, very pretty. And that was a fun one to make. I might make another one. But it is gorgeous. I love this pattern. Here's another interesting shawl. Very, very soft. Oh, what kind of yarn is that, Suzanne? I don't know. It's not, it's not mohair, but it has a- It's fluffy. Fit, yeah. It looks like it has the mohair look to it, but mm. it's actually not. You are We're just dragging yourself in shawl after shawl. <laughs> Let me feel it. Oh, very interesting. It's almost like it's, um, I don't know. And it's a soft type of lace in it. Drops Birdie. Drops Birdie? Birdie. And they have it in stock, it says. Another Lots to choose gorgeful, from. Gorgeful, a beautiful sweater. <laughs> a gorgeful. I just invented a new word. And look at that. Oh, how cute is this for a little girl? <gasps> I love that. Oh, the nice wool. Yeah, if you can get the kids to yes. wear it, that's the problem. No, thank you. <laughs> <gasps> oh, look at that. Yeah, that's wow. a masterpiece. Now, wait a minute. How is that knitted? Is that intarsia? Like that's got to be, right? Yeah, that would have to. Well, yeah. Oh, wow. What a beautiful sweater. Look at that pattern. I've never seen a sweater like that before. Very nice. Wow. Very nice. That's like too pretty to wear. That is like a piece of art right yeah. there that hangs on your wall. For Hence why she has it hung up like hung that. Up on the wall, for sure. Wow. Incredible. That's this show called Papillon. Papillon. It's very big on Ravelry. Yeah. People do it as a cow. Now the style one. of when you do those kind of w w they it's like wavy lines. What is this style called? Short, I've seen short it. Short rowing. Short rows. It's, it's just short rows. rows. Okay. Short rows to create those waves. So cool. Can I take a picture? Oh. So I'm sitting here with Stephanie. She is the owner of uh, Myrtle Station. Is it Myrtle Station Wool or did you change the well, name? It's Myrtle Station Wool. Word, Myrtle Station Wool. Yeah. Now I've been a customer for, I don't want to say how many years, but there is close, a few. Close to 40. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. So I started being a customer at your mom's store mm -hmm. in downtown Ripley. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about your mom and her business sense? Because she was a loved, 
um, owner in mm -hmm. in Whitby. Yeah, so I would say knitting is something that runs in our family. We're a Scottish family, originally from Ireland. And when she got tired of commuting to Toronto, she worked for an accounting firm in Toronto. Okay. She always wanted to have a yarn store, so she did. And she opened a yarn store. It was on the north east corner. I don't know if you remember that I smaller do. store. Yeah. And we had the knitting machines. And then we moved over beside a quilting store called the Silver Thimble. Yes. And then finally we moved to the store where Turquoise is now in downtown. Right. So it was 20 years altogether that she was wow. there. And I've been here 20 years, so that oh, makes it. Oh my goodness. But we carried um, Singer, Brother, Superba, Pass Up, all of those knitting machines. And we were able to use them all. And I think latterly we carried Elna sewing machines because that was a really good brand of machine for us. We really like to have good equipment for people mm -hmm. and quality yarns. And then my mother was a big fan of fair isle knitting, so as so am I. Yes. So she and she was a really good knitter herself, really good tension. She was a beloved uh, yeah. person that people would come and help uh, yes. and no problem and sit with people and she had all the time in the world yeah. she was yeah. just a lovely lovely yeah. Yeah. lovely woman. she was yeah she and it was, was called ferguson's. ferguson's and so when she wanted to retire we said well why don't we move it up here the house is this house we lived in it but all the kids were gone so we moved it up here oh okay and tell us about how, so you're open during the week. What are your hours? Thir well, I had a day job for the longest time. So we're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but also by chance or appointment. So if people shoot me an email and they kind of have an idea what they want, mm -hmm. I can either be here or I can put it out for them for them to look. So, yeah. Good. I've called you a couple of times. Hey, yeah. Stephanie, please give me yeah. a hand. I need, I need your help. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Good. So, yeah. And I myself, I started as a weaver, a hand weaver. My loom is still upstairs. And I did a lot of contract work in Niagara on the Lake. And then I got into the knitting machines to do some educational work with my mother. And we were trained by the people from Japan on the brands and also the people from uh, Passup as well. Oh. So it just kind of evolved into that part of it. My mother also had embroidery and cross stitch and needlepoint for more for the summer months. It's not as popular now as it was maybe 15, no. 20 years ago. Um, with anything, it, I'm sure it's gonna come back. Yeah. Well, Kim Mather that worked with yes. us, she still has the cross stitch and needlepoint. Does she? In Whitby, yeah. Kim Matt designs in Whitby. Oh, you're kidding. She works from her home as well. Right. So, yeah, and she's also by chance or appointment. Oh, very good. So, yeah. Okay. But Do you um, have weaving classes here as well? My friend down the, in South Myrtle, she's a master weaver. She holds weaving classes. Oh, She okay. has a number of looms. It's called the Naked Lamb. That will be easy to remember. <laughs> yeah. She's the executive director of the Uxbridge Historical S Museum. Oh. Up, up there. She used to work... Well, she used to be the director at the Textile Museum in Toronto, but she's given up working in Toronto. She d splits her time and season between Oxbridge and working from her studio okay. in South Myrtle. So Myrtle, so Stephanie, can you tell everyone where Myrtle is situated? Myrtle's about 15 minutes north of Whitby on Highway 12 mm -hmm. or Baldwin Street. Very easy yeah, to Or find. south of Port Perry. Yeah, in between. So, yeah. So, just like with anything, we came here to look around, and of course, it didn't take long for us to find something that we like. So, I came today, and I'm very happy to leave with a whole bunch of my hair yarn. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to show you my beautiful yeah. shawl. 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 It's yeah. going to look fantastic it when is. it's done, Suzanne. Yeah. Very good. Well, and thank quick. You. Yeah. yeah. Lots of chain. That's what Karen says. Lots of <laughs> chain. Lots of chain. So it'll be quick. 
Well, yeah. thank you very much for... Oh, you're very welcome. The sweater comes from when Rowan first came to North America. Oh, yeah? So... So it's Rowan yarn? It's Rowan yarn. Um, it is the most beautiful pattern I've ever seen in the sweater. My mother used to wear it with a skirt. I made that for her, but... Oh, the, wow. She used to wear it with a velvet skirt from a shop called Miss Emma. I don't know if you remember Ms. Emma. No. It was a women's clothing store where they made everything one size and you went in and they fitted you and made it fit you oh, exactly. Wow. So they added the proper waistband mm. and buttons. So my mother used to wear those two With things. that. Now this sweater, is it in tarsia? What do you... Is yeah, it it's in tarsia. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's tricky because then you do back and forth, right? Yeah. And you have to make sure you kind of twist the yes. colors at the end. Yes. This, I mean, the work... So you knitted this yourself. Yeah. The, it's exquisite. This yeah, is absolutely really gorgeous. Yeah. The pattern is amazing and the way you have knit. The, I mean, this is a work of art. Well, row and color. Yeah. So another great visit from a yarn store. Uh, what a great. Stephanie is just fantastic. Just a wonderful lady and a wonderful store. What do you think? Holly? I think it was fantastic. I mean, I'm still in awe of that sweater we saw upstairs. Uh, but I also, first of all, Stephanie's energy was so calm and there's a very calm and relaxed energy in the whole store when you walk in. So true. And I liked all her, she carries yarn that you don't see in every other yarn shop. I wish I could remember the name of it now, but it was a Danish yarn. Danish and Norwegian. And who a lot of thought, Danish and Norwegian yarns, beautiful thought, yarns. Yeah, who would have thought that she, you, she would carry that? up here but you have to come and see for yourself yeah it's, uh, fantastic yeah it, it was um beautiful space beautiful yarns yeah worth the drive it's not that far north of whitby yeah no so if you have the chance come and check out myrtle station please do yes yeah. you'll get to meet stephanie she's yeah. fantastic so we're gonna say goodbye for now until next time take care don't forget to press the like button thumbs up Bye. Bye. Karen and Suzanne. And now I'm going to fail to find the way. I can't even do that. Okay, we do it. This is hard. Helvete, Susanne. You blir red. You blir min. Tror du så arg? I'm shutting down. I'm shutting down. I'm shutting down. I'm at eight.